He has been a part of Houston News for nearly 45 years. Mm. From his first day at KPRC2 back in 1976 to his final report yesterday. This week, we celebrate and congratulate Phil Archer on a magnificent career. Before heading off to retirement, Phil sat down with another KPRC2 legend who just retired last year. We're talking about our former anchor, Bill Baeza, who joined Phil for a special conversation about work, retirement, and gratitude. People have been asking me, well, what's the most important story you think you covered or the uh, one that's most interesting? The answer. It, yeah. Well, it's got to be the one we're in now, really, COVID-19. I was going to ask you, I left before this COVID thing. It must be an incredible challenge to cover not only the pandemic, right. but, but your ability to get out there and cover it. Well, and those, uh, there are some minor alterations. Yeah, we don't travel in the same car together with photographers and um, we go by the rules. You stay separate and take all the precautions. But I don't remember a story in my lifetime uh, that, has that has affected our society, our individual members of our society. It's global. That has, yeah, that has been, mm -hmm. I mean, we're, everything we do right now revolves around COVID and the vaccine and progress of that, of, of combating it and the light that we're finally seeing at the end of the tunnel. And I think that's going to be a top story. I mean, we're talking about COVID. Well, people make decisions in their lives, life and death decisions, based on what we tell them. And that's a huge responsibility. And you can't take that lightly, or certainly you shouldn't take it lightly. So I, I think I've always been proud to be a reporter. I think a good reporter is the noblest work of God. As I've had to start thinking about retiring, giving it up, the thing I most feel is gratitude for those folks, for mm -hmm. all those folks that invite us into their homes all these years and like us uh, and appreciate- And have many other choices. Right, yeah. and appreciate the work we do. Yeah. I also feel a great deal of gratitude for all of those guys. What are you going to miss most about this? About this? I don't know. I, I'll know when I get there, but I'm kind of guessing that the action, yeah. you know, there's always something to engage you when you walk in the door. And Every so, day is new and different. Right. I, on social media, I, I'm, I'm really pleased to see people give you the, the praise you deserve. I, I, I got to tell you, I'm overwhelmed. I, I really am. I, you know, I, if I know, if I'd known so many people were going to say such nice things about me, I might, <laughs> I, I'd have left earlier. I mean, it just. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're so glad he did it, and it's right. it's such a lovely interview, and I want to let you know that you can see it in its entirety mm. at click2houston.com because I really think it's something that you want to take in and digest. Two legends there. I know. You know? Beautiful to see. Two legends. You know, Phil is one of, it's sort of standard now for re reporters covering hurricanes to call us and, and ask our advice. Phil used to do that 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. He'd find a phone and he'd say, oh, what do you think? Where, where should we go? What should mm -hmm. we do? Yep. And I'd make something up and, you know. <laughs> and he'd send go. him in the wrong direction. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. Way to go, Frank. He's quite a man of integrity. We're gonna Amen. Yeah.